ang the math classroom and we are now in part 2 of week number 4. So, ang lesson natin doon is all about <clears throat> Okay. Rational numbers. So, based from milk, we have expressed rational numbers from fraction form to decimal form and vice versa. Okay. So, let us go back to your activity sheets. Okay. We have points to remember. The word rational is derived from the word ratio, which means quotient. Rational numbers are numbers which can be written as a quotient of two integers just like A over B, where B is not equal to zero. Three and one half, we have negative six and one fourth, one half are examples of rational numbers. The following are more examples of rational numbers. We have five. Five can be expressed as a ratio of two numbers. Let's say five over one. We have six hundreds. Okay, so the decimal place, okay, the decimal place of these decimal numbers is one hundred, or that is six over one hundred. Okay, and we have one and three tenths, that is thirteen over ten. So, they can be expressed as a ratio of two integers, okay? So, it could be a negative, it could be a positive. But the question is, how to change decimal to percent? So, we have three steps to be followed. Number one, you write the given number without decimal point as the numerator of the fraction. Number two, write one in the numerator followed by as many zeros as the number of decimal places. So you are going to count the number of decimal places. And then you are going to reduce the fraction into the lowest form and if required, change into mixed numeral. Okay. Example, we have this. <clears throat> How are we going to convert 8 tenths to fraction? Take note that the number of decimal places is 1, and 1 is tenths, okay? So, this will be written as 8 over 10. So, your numerator is 8, and the decimal place of 8 is 10. That's why we have 8 over 10. How come that we have 4 over 5? This is the simplified form of 8 over 10. Okay, paano nga ba nakuha yung 4 over 5? Okay, palakihin natin. Paano ba nakuha yung 4 over 5? Okay. Do you still remember the lesson about greatest common factor? Greatest common factor or what we call GCF. Okay, so you are going to find out for the GCF between the numerator and the denominator, okay? Numerator and denominator. Okay, so let us try to write this below. <clears throat> okay, so the GCF of 8 and 10 is how many? 8 and then we have, okay, saglit lang. So, we have here, we have 10. Mm. What are the prime factors of 8? Okay, this time, you are going to consider prime factors because it is better to find out for the GCF using prime factors. Paano natin kukunin yung prime factors? Using factor 3. Alam din kung ano yung prime numbers, right? Numbers which has factors of 1 and itself. So, kung meron tayong 8, that is 2 times 4. 
2 times 4. But 4 can be factored out and that is 2 times 2. Yan. Naalala nyo pa ba yan? And then how about 10? We have 2 times 5. Is there any factor of 5? No more. So, find out for the common factor between 8 and 10. And that is 2. Okay? So, we have 2 and 2. Okay? And this number is what we call GCF. Ito na yung number na pwede mong i-divide sa 8. At saka sa 10. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay? 10 divided by 2 is 5. Yun yung kanyang tinatawag na in step number 3, you reduce the fraction into the lowest term. Next, <clears throat> how about converting 1 and 25 hundreds to fraction? Okay, so you copy 125. Okay, so that will be written in under numerator. And then, the number of decimal places in here is 1, 2. And that is over 100. So, that is 125 over 100. Paano nakuha naman yung 5 over 4? That is taken from the greatest common factor, yung highest divisibility between 125 and and 100 and that is 25 125 divided by 5 is 5 100 divided by 5 is 4 or you can have also a mixed form just like 1 and 1 over 4 saan naman nakuha yung 1 and 1 over 4 that is taken from 5 divided by 4 and that is 1 5 minus 4 is 1. The remainder is 1. So that will be your fraction, numerator, divided by your divisor, which is 4. Okay. Next. That's why in your activity, how are you going to convert the following fractions? Fractions to decimals. Ah, ano muna natin ito? Pag-aralan muna natin ito. Okay, there are three ways or, or two ways or steps on how are we going to change fraction to decimal. Okay, what will be? Number one, set up a fraction as a division, dividing the numerator top number by the denominator bottom number. Okay, and then you are going to attach enough trailing zeros to the numerator so you can continue dividing until you find the answer is either termination decimal or repeating decimal. Take note that if we have a mixed number, the whole number stays to the left of the decimal. Okay, for example, if we have 2 fifth, 2 divided by 5. 2 fifth is written as 2 divided by 5. The numerator, if you will write that into division sentence, 2 is inside of the division symbol. Okay? Division symbol. Ito yung division symbol natin. Yan. And then 5, which is the denominator, is written outside of the division sign or symbol. Okay, take note. How are we going to divide? Okay, you can make use of skip counting. Okay, multiples. Multiples of, of course, the divisor. Okay, take note that the number, smaller number, which is divided by a bigger number is always zero. And do not write or do not say cannot be. It cannot be divided. No. The answer is 0. So 2 divided by 5 is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. Okay? Next, <clears throat> you bring down 0. So your number becomes 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 
4 times 5 is 20. Paano nga ba nakuha yung sagot na 4? Kagaya ng sinabi ko, pag hindi ka masyadong marunong mag-divide, you can have skip counting by 5 until you reach exactly 20 or less than 20. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. And that is 4. Okay, so 4 times 5 is 20. The remainder is 0. So, 2 over 5 or 2 fifths is equal to 4 tenths in decimal form. Another one, let's say convert 3 fourths to decimal. 3 divided by 4 is 0. Okay, you take another digit. So, 30 divided by 4. Skip counting by 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. That's why we have 7. 7 times 4 is 28. And then you subtract 30. Subtracted by 28, so we have 2. Next, 20 divided by 4. Skip counting. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So we have 5. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 minus 20 is 0. Okay? Naintindihan. Okay, tingnan natin yung halimbawa ko pa dito. <coughs> okay. Ah, parang given na ito kanina. Oh, ito na yung explanation ko kanina. Oh. So, greatest common factor. You are going to take the common factor, which is 2. Yun ang i-divide mo sa numerator at sa denominator. Kaya nakuha yung 4 over 5. Hmm. Oh. Oh, let's have this one. 3 over 6. Convert 3 over 6 to decimal. Your solution. 3 divided by 6 is 0. Okay? Next, you take another digit. So that is 30. Skip counting by 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So the answer is 5. 5 times 6 is 30. Okay, the way, the way I am finding for the quotient is a process for someone who is not uh, uh, confident enough or little knowledge about division of numbers. Okay, next. We are now in your first activity. Ito yon. So, convert the following fractions to decimal. So, ito magiging... Makikita ba ninyo yan? Nagiging 10 divided by 4. Okay? Gagawin mo siyang 10 divided by 4. Yung 10 ay nasa loob ng division sign. And then, yung 4 ang siyang magiging divisor, nandun siya sa labas. So, magiging 10 divided by 4, what will be. Okay? So, meaning to say, converting the following fractions to decimals, most of your answers have decimal numbers. Kaya nga decimal. May mga decimal number yan. Okay? O. Oh. Talagang decimal number kasi ginawa ko siyang, ginawa nilang uh, pangalan na nito, proper fraction. ba Meron tayong dalawang klase ng fraction. Proper fraction and improper fraction. Kailan tayo magkakaroon ng, kailan, kailan tayo, tayo, ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng proper fraction? If the numerator is smaller than denominator, that is proper fraction. Example, number 2, number 3, number 4. But if the numerator is greater than the denominator, just like in number one, you will have a whole number, okay, that is more than one. Your result is more than one, okay? May whole number siya at the same time, meron siyang decimal number. Pero kung kagaya ng number two, number three, number four, and number five, what else? <clears throat> Nagkakawalaan na tayo. Okay, number 6, number 7, number 8, number 9, number 10. Your answer is less than 1. 0 point something, okay? 0 point something. Okay, next, let's move on to activity number 2. 
Okay, ano nga bang activity number 2 natin? Convert the following decimal to fractions. Okay, convert. Okay, ano nga bang gagawin natin? Kagaya siya dito sa aking prepare. How are we going to convert? Just like 0 0.25 multiplied by the number of decimal places in 0.25. That is 100 over 100. Kaya magiging 0 0.25 times 100, move the decimal point to places to the right because of 100. 1, 2, that's why we have 25. 1 times 100 is 100. And then the GCF or the greatest common factor is 25. 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. Parang ganyan rin lang dito. Oh, 75. 75 over 100. Tama? 75 has two decimal places and number with two decimal places is considered 1 over 100. Kaya magiging 75 over 100. So, ang gagawin mo na lamang is, you simplify. Always simplify or reduce to the lowest term. The fraction is always reduced to the lowest term. The final answer is the lowest term. Okay? Kahit natama yung 75 over 100 mo, still it is wrong because in mathematics, you are always simplify to the lowest term. Okay, so that is from numbers 1 to 10. Okay, so let's move on to... Oh, dito na tayo. Mas magandang tingnan ito. Okay? <clears throat> Activity number 3. Stairway to Princess Jasmine. Aladdin lost his magic car carpet. Help him visit Princess Jasmine by converting fractions to decimals and vice versa. Fill in each empty box beside each given to take the next step. Okay. So, nandito si Aladdin. Pupuntahan niya, papasyalan niya si Princess. Nandun siya sa pinakadulo ng hagdan. Okay. Doon sa pinakataas. Hmm. So, the given number here is a decimal. Convert to fraction. Okay. Next, so ito na yung first step. Second step, fraction convert to decimal. What is one-fourth to decimal form? And then, 1,500, what is its fraction? Kaya nga siya tinawag na vice versa. Kung decimal number ang given, hanapan mo, isolve mo siya using fraction. Kung fraction naman, you are going to convert to decimal. Okay? Interchange lang siya. Decimal, fraction, decimal, fraction, fraction, decimal, decimal, fraction, fraction, decimal, decimal to fraction. Okay? So, that's all about week number four. Part 2 of our activity sheets. Okay. So, kung meron kayong mga queries o mga tanong sa akin, pwede kayong mag-personal message. Okay. So, if you don't have any question, then, yours truly, your math teacher, Jocelyn Piccoli, saw, saw, saying thank you and Good luck.